King Charles has made his royal return, attending an Easter church service in Windsor for what was his first major appearance since his cancer diagnosis. The King looked in good spirits, but there was one big absence, with the Prince and Princess of Wales choosing not to attend. Let's bring in the Daily Mirror Associate Editor, Russell Myers. Good morning to you, Russell. The King seemed pretty upbeat and happy in the pictures we've seen. How has his appearance been received in the UK? Well, you're right, Jane. Good morning and happy Easter. And it was a happy Easter for the royal family. They've been through quite a lot over the last few weeks, I think it's fair to say. You know, we've had the King's cancer diagnosis following on from uh, the, then the uh, Princess of Wales cancer diagnosis as well and her ongoing treatment. And, uh, and certainly we've seen a little bit of the King in recent weeks. He's had a bit of a scaled down schedule, but this was very important to him. And I think after the few weeks they've had, he wanted to show a bit of unity and stability for the monarchy. And I thought he looked quite sprightly. He was engaging with members of the public, you know, having a bit of a laugh with them, saying he's doing his best with his treatment when they said, you know, get well soon. So all in all, a job well done. And I think possibly a sign of things to come, hopefully. It was a bit of a surprise, though, to see him really mingling with those crowds and, and shaking hands because we knew there were concerns about his immune system given uh, the treatment that he's receiving. So it must have been really great for the, for the public to be able to get so close to him. Well, definitely. I mean, you just look at the crowds there. There was an awful lot of people. Uh, they let in sort of Windsor Castle, a few members of the public, some of the Windsor staff who have seen him sort of tootling about Buckingham Palace or Windsor Castle over the last few weeks. And you're, you're right that this uh, sort of scaled down version of his hectic schedule, which he normally takes on, has been very much in keeping with his desire to sort of minimise the risk of infection. But, you know, people I spoke to at the palace today said this is a positive step. It's mm -hmm. certainly a sign of the time that he wants to get back to some sort of normality of duties. It won't happen overnight, but it is a, it's definitely a step in the right direction. So when do you think we can expect him to resume normal public engagements again? Well, I think it won't be for some time. However, you know, he's definitely aiming to, to be at some of the summer events. You know, we've got big trooping of the colour, the pomp and the pageantry, which is his official birthday. That's on June the 15th. Then we have Royal Ascot here in the UK. Big uh, horse racing meeting throughout the week, the week after, the middle of June. But I think we're going to start to see him, you know, uh, a bit more of these public events. But the, today was a really, really positive sign. He looked well. He looked better than we've seen him in recent weeks. So... Definitely, uh, you know, as, as I said, a step in the right direction for the King. What about Kate and William? We obviously weren't expecting to see them today because we know that Kate is undergoing her treatment. But when do you think they are likely to make public appearances again? Well, certainly we're going to see Prince William in, uh, when after the Easter break. It's going to take a couple of weeks off with Kate and the children. I think that's very important for, for the Princess of Wales to have her rest and recovery while she's undergoing this um, chemotherapy treatment. However, listen, don't expect to see her anytime soon. We, we might, again, see her possibly at Trooping the Colours. She might decide to pop up at a couple of events while she's undergoing her treatment, but a full return to duties won't be expected for some time. And I think, you know, after her public statement a few days ago, all of our thoughts are with her, and it's definitely uh, the, the period it needs to be for rest and recuperation to get her back to full health as soon as possible. What about the other royals stepping up? I mean, we've been hearing that Prince Andrew was at this event, although I haven't actually seen any pictures of him yet. Well, you know, he possibly learned his lesson. I mean, we, we haven't said that many times, have we? But uh, <laughs> after the, the, the late uh, King of Greece, is King Constantine's memorial, when, of course, the King was absent, and we know that Prince William pulled out because of Kate's uh, cancer diagnosis at the time, he was sort of front and centre, wasn't he, a few weeks ago, and all the worst headlines for all the wrong reasons for him. So perhaps learned his lesson. Uh, it was definitely very fo much focused on the King, the Queen, and uh, the rest of the royal family, who is pretty much clubbed together in these uh, these hours of need. So definitely uh, uh, one for the family and uh, and hopefully, you know, some good, good news for the King at least. Absolutely. Russell Wise from the Daily Mirror, thank you. Let's head to Melbourne now where a severe weather warning is... Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?